folks and welcome to today's video which is an unboxing video. Today I'm unboxing the brand new Sweet Tweets Fingerlings. So this is for sale on Amazon. I think it's $9.99. I've put a link in the description below and if after watching this video you decide to purchase this I would be much obliged if you use that link as it helps the channel. So before unboxing this, let's have a quick look at the box. 40 sounds and reactions. I record and play back your secrets. Mm -hmm. So I think this has got two recording functions. Yeah. So one, it plays back what you recorded straight away. Mm -hmm. And I think the sort of recording your secrets you've got to do something before you hear the oh, recording right, right. I, I think that's how it works so the uh, the monkey fingerlings the year before didn't last have, year last year yeah, didn't they... have a microphone right okay. original fingerlings did but the one they brought back last year didn't have a microphone mm. i really know it's you so this is the same as the fingerlings last year mm. That was the first time they made a Finklings whereby, I think it was a touch sensor, when you put it on your finger, it activated the touch sensor so it oh, would behave right. differently yeah. off your finger than on your finger. That was a new thing with the Finklings last year. So it's not voice recognition then when it says, I really know it's you. So, no, it's not voice recognition and it's not facial right, recognition. Okay. I don't think you'd get that for no, $9.99. I think that would be a bit too sophisticated, wouldn't it? And like the other fingerlings, it's by Wowee, and it takes three LR44 batteries, so those are the little button cells. So this comes in two colour versions. The one I've got is the blue one called Lionel. There's also a pink one, not sure what the name is of that one. I Go Where You Go reminds me of the little Ivy that uh, we're waiting for. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that, is, that is sophisticated, isn't it? Two ways to play. Off your finger, I'm a silly chatty birdie that repeats what you say. On your finger, ah, on your finger, I save secrets that only friends can unlock. So it's using the same touch sensor mm -hmm. to pick up whether it's on your finger or not. Right. To have this different mode where it saves the recording and doesn't play it back immediately right. so only friends can unlock so that means if you if a friend puts the fingerling on your on their finger they can listen to your recorded messages talk and i repeat what you say record and share secrets and it doesn't just have this function of recording what you say because it says it's got 40 plus sounds and reactions mm. so it makes a lot of its own sort of sounds as well i say sounds and reactions they can only be sounds, they can't be reactions because it doesn't have any moving parts. I was just going to say that, yeah, because the monkey fingerlings move the head, didn't they? And this is, I thought maybe that... Was, and their eyes. And their eyes as well, I thought, you're right, yeah. So I thought maybe this one might move its beak or... No, no, it but just, no. Right, okay. Includes one bird, one instruction manual. I've got one of my Furby Furblets with me in this video because... I think this new Fingerlings has been inspired by it, I think. Oh, right. Why not? Yes. That? I'll say why after I've unboxed it and compared it with that furblet. And I've got these little birdies here mm -hmm. because I thought it would be interesting to see what it was like recording bird sounds. Ah, yeah. yeah. And also the Walker Squawker here. Mm -hmm. That also has a microphone and it responds to sound so. I thought I could get some sort of like two-way thing going on. Yeah, interesting. You've got the walker squawker there because it's not really a toy, is it? It's, um, I'm not sure what you call it. Uh, it's like a therapy thing a therapy for older people. Yeah, a yeah. therapy type of uh, robot pet. would pet, yeah. yeah. So without further ado, let's get this out the box and see what it's like. Same setup with the packaging this year as there was with the monkey last year where you've got the 
instructions in this little box in the bottom. Mm, it's quite neat, that, isn't it? It's quite neat, but it's also quite easy if you don't know to... Oh, to overlook that. To overlook yeah. it and yeah. not know where the instructions are and throw this away, thinking it's just packaging. So let's have a quick look at the user manual. The three LR44 batteries are included. Would be a bit stingy if they didn't put them in, seeing as they like <laughs> cost next to nothing, don't they? Mm. Got a little diagram of the Tweety Bird there. Side view, adjustable feather crest. The on off button is on the back. We've got a little heart with an LED, and that's like the um, Fingerling last year. The Introduce yeah, this sort of right. LED yeah, heart. Yeah. To indicate that it's like alive. <laughs> the microphone is in the beak. We've got a wing button. And behind the little feet, you've got a capacitive touch sensor. Right. Ah, your bird's heart glows on your finger. That's good. So you've got an indication straight away of if it, the touch sensor is ah, picking up your finger. Right. Yes, that is, that is nice. Yeah. Press wing buttons for bird sounds. So press twice for bird sounds, press three times for a burp or a fart. <laughs> I've never heard. Doesn't a, seem appropriate for a bird. I've never that... heard a bird break wind. I know one of, one of my aunties had a budgie and uh, I ne never heard any of those sorts no. of things. So we'll get this little birdie out of the inner packaging and we'll try out those first two functions. Mm. Oh, that's quite nice. The feet are like a little clip. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, that's nice as well. They've given it this tail. Ah, uh, that's a good idea, yeah. That, that is a good idea because the original, original fingerlings, you couldn't stand them up. Yeah, I remember. You and had to the hang thing, them up by the tail, mm, didn't you, the monkeys? Yeah. And then the fingerling they brought out last year, they made the tail so that it mm, could actually mm. stand up. So... Mm. They've continued that with this one. So here's the on-off button on the back, nice and plain, nice and clear. <laughs> it makes some good noises. Yeah, already, yeah. So we'll press twice for bird sounds. I'll try to press it three times. Yes, got a, got a belch there. And let's try putting it on your finger. Okay. So oh, you got so, a couple of heartbeats when you put yeah, it on Yeah, that was quite cute, wasn't mm. it? I liked how the LED sort of was in tune with the heartbeat as well. And it says goodbye and take, take it off finger the finger. So. So let's see what it does when it's on your finger mm -hmm. and you press the wings. Yeah, it is, yeah. Nice, isn't it? I quite like the sounds, isn't it? Yeah, the sounds remind me of uh, Sweep, Alder Sweety and mm. Sweep. I've seen the, 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 the sounds that make it sound very, very small, don't they? Yeah, that's right, which it is. Record, press and hold wing buttons after you hear two tweets. Speak to record a message up to eight seconds. Put the bird close to your mouth and speak clearly and loudly. <coughs> right, it looks like you don't have to put it in a recording state. It does it automatically. Mm -hmm. 
if it's next to something making a lot of noise. Right. So if I switch this off, so it's off completely, switch it back on. Automatically records. Right. Okay, I can see where I got confused now. It says off finger, talk to your bird and it repeats what you say immediately but does not save recordings. So because I didn't have the bird on my finger, it was repeating what was said immediately. So I didn't notice in the in the picture, they've actually got a hand behind the bird there. Mm. I didn't notice that it was supposed to be on the finger. Ah, I see, right. So we'll have to do that again. So press and hold the wing buttons after you hear two tweets speak to record a message and you've noticed something else that i missed as well haven't you paul i saw you struggling with the little flaws trying to get it on your finger but uh, the didn't tail didn't realize the tail lever to push back yeah i don't know if it tells you about that elsewhere in the instructions but i didn't see it so that makes it easy to open the claws to put it on your finger yeah mm. You think that would have been in the diagram, wouldn't you? Mm. The beginning. <coughs> so this time you have to hold and press down the wings before it records. <coughs> you hear two tweets. Right, so that must mean that it stopped recording when it goes do do. So it looks like you have to press and hold them, do you think? So is, is it made a secret recording now? Presumably so. Play message. Place bird on finger. Press wing buttons once to play back message. <coughs> yeah, it's worked. Mm. Optional, after hearing message, use fingers to gently push the feathers down. Oh yeah, they like click. Oh, they stay down then. Mm. Right, that's all it says. So I don't know if that erases the message or what. How do the feathers come back up then? It doesn't tell you. Do you just pull them up or do they, do they flick up with something? Oh yeah! Right, so when you press and hold, the quick comes back up mm -hmm. and it's when it's recording. So what is that indicating then? That it's making a recording. Right, so when it's when you push the quiff down, even though it's optional, what does that indicate that it's got a recording on it? I don't know if that means it, it wipes a recording or it just indicates there's a recording on it. <laughs> because it's not telling you. me <laughs> right, so if i press this down and then press the wings no it doesn't wipe the recording i think what it is is saying you can press the feathers down to let your friend know that there's a recorded message. Ah, so it's like a flag then, isn't it? It's yeah. like a signal that there's a recorded message on it. So you can right. pass, it, pass it to your friend and they'd know to listen to it. Yes. So, yeah, when the, so you push the quiff down to indicate to your friend that there's a, a secret message on there. So if they put it on the finger and play it um, and listen to the message, the secret message, does the quiff automatically come back up then? No, it doesn't. So how do you get the quiff up then? You record another message. So you press and hold. It's surely only mechanical. There, it's coming up now. It's coming up. You do have to press and hold the wings though, or it won't come up.
but it right. takes quite a while to come up. That's strange. It is strange. And those instructions aren't clear. And finally, it says sleep mode. To conserve energy, your fingerlings will enter sleep mode after approximately one minute of inactivity. To wake up, flip the power switch off and on again. And we've got a QR code here. It says scan here for more ways to play. So let's have a quick look at that. So the QR code takes you to this YouTube video which is a how-to video and it just basically goes through the same functions as are described in the instructions. I noticed in the video that the feathers on the head came up immediately in the video when they pressed the wings. So I don't know if mine's just a bit sort of jammed at that mechanism, but they're supposed to spring up. They're not supposed to come up really, really slowly. Yeah, there seems to be something wrong with the mechanism on mine because they're either not coming up or they're coming up really, really slowly. Yeah, it looks like you can sort of coax them up with your finger whilst holding the wing buttons in, but that's not supposed to be how it works. Yeah, mine seems to have a bit of a sticky mechanism. It's got a pulley crest then. <laughs> I've been practising <laughs> trying to make it come up. All right. And I noticed it doesn't have to be switched on. Mm -hmm. no, I didn't think it was uh, an electronic Yeah, mechanism. it's just it's mechanical. It's purely mechanical, uh, manually operated, so to speak. This is one of the aspects where I thought it was influenced by the Derby Furblets. Yeah, with the ears. Mm. Yeah. Except those are spring-loaded though, aren't they? This is spring-loaded. Yeah, because when you touch the button, they really fly open, don't they? You don't have to sort of... <laughs> yeah, they're spring-loaded, yeah. It's a pity they didn't make the cockatoo feathers on the top spring-loaded. Yeah, I, I guess they were trying to be uh, make it as cheap as possible. They were keep it the £10 marker, weren't they? And uh, they felt like they had to do that, which is a pity, really, because the spring would have been uh, much better. I'm not so sure that it's because it would have cost a bit to do it. Mm. As, as more reason is, it's so little, there wouldn't have been room. I reckon they could have found space for a spring in there, so that they, they would have... Uh... So you think it's a cost thing? Yeah. Another way in which I think it's been influenced is the fact that they've got the price down to... Nine dollars ninety nine. Yeah, and they've done that partly by not having any moving parts, mm, mm, mm. and they did that with the Furby Furblets. Yeah, it's been a trend in toys to simplify them um, to uh, cheapen the cost. The thing is, though, last year the Furby Furblets were only nine dollars ninety nine, and they were really really popular. So I think that has influenced other toy companies yeah. mm. like Wowie that mm. makes this little Tweety Bird. There's some others coming out in August by Moose in the little live range and they're called Needies and again they're interactive, very very small, don't have any moving parts mm -hmm. But you can interact with them and they have a lot of sounds. And right. I think, again, that's influenced by the Furby Furblets. Mm, mm. Yeah, get the moving parts out, keep the sounds and it brings the cost down, doesn't it? Yeah. Talking about Furby Furblets, there's a, a new two-pack that's just come out, just been released. And I've ordered it and it's shipped now. Right, that's the good and evil one, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I am. Think it's a right, uh, a right good idea, good and evil, for a sort of adult uh, furblet. Adult furblet? Why are you saying the, the adults? They're well, only they, little. Uh, well, no, I meant they appeal to adults. Yeah, you said like <laughs> adult furblet. Yeah, well, they might be full grown, you never know. Well, they're very small compared to a full size <laughs> furby. So they're arriving next week, so I shall be doing an unboxing of those next week. Really looking forward to that. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, 
I've got some other robotic birds that I want to try and get this new little Tweety bird to have a bit of reaction with. Mm -hmm. So I've got this Walker Squawker bird and that, that has a microphone and it uses its microphone to respond to sound with like little cheeps mm. and movement. So let's see if we can get them to have a conversation. to work well mm, very cute that very nice nice to watch yeah and it was nice that the new little sweet tweets bird could pick up on the sounds that the other bird made they were loud enough mm. and mm -hmm. for recording yeah the walker squawker could also pick up yeah she was triggered wasn't she by uh, the sweet treats uh, noise yeah yeah mm. i also like the way the walker squawker bird sort of turn towards the mm, other mm. one <laughs> mm. it's quality piece that walker squawkers it's, yeah, it's uh, very it is, nice it's one of my favorite ones i would say so i'll try it out with these digi birds now okay What did you think of that? Oh, very funny. Yeah, that's like uh, that's like the um, fingling's Tweety Bird. It's like it's like a little baby, and it was just learning how to uh, <laughs> sing along with the others. I thought I thought it looked like it was jamming. <laughs> so, Paul, what do you think of this sweet tweet fingling's? It's not bad. Uh, it's it's been fun watching it interact with some of the other toys, and it's not it's not bad in itself. I, li I like the crest on it, even though ours doesn't seem to work brilliantly. I think it's a nice touch um, for something that doesn't have any moving parts, like electronic or motorized parts. I think that crest is a nice touch. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, it makes good sounds. Yeah, it's also very responsive, isn't it? The you know the microphone use of it. I know I've had things in the past that recorded a voice. Mm. Or recorded a sound mm. but not not worked as well as this does yeah i mean it's it's a fairly old-fashioned idea now but it is it's well done isn't it in this in this yeah it's really it's, snappy yes, isn't yeah, it? it is yeah so folks i hope you enjoyed that unboxing and demonstration and review and found it entertaining to some degree thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time